Sometimes, taking a look at the history of a web page can be a very important step in the validation process. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. It's actually really easy. Right now, I'm on this website called wingmakers.com, and it's a fictitious website, but it's one that's going to give us um, a good example to use. To find out the history of this web page, because what you're looking at is what it looks like today, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and copy this URL. Once I've done that, I'm going to visit the website archive.org. In the center of the page, you'll find this tool called the Wayback Machine. I can go ahead and paste in that URL and then click the Take Me Back button. And what you see here is a listing of dates of whenever this website was archived. I can click on any one of these dates and see how the website looked on that particular date. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way back to when the site was first started back in January of 1999 and I'm going to click and you'll see this is what the website looked like then. Now you're not just looking at a screenshot, you're looking at an actual working copy of this website. So I can go ahead and click on this image to get into the website and then I can click and travel around the website and look at various pages. So I might look back in the early days of this website and see what kind of information was there and compare it back to the information that we find on the website today. Now, not every website that you run across is going to be followed from archive.org, so you're not going to be able to see the history of all sites. It is possible for a web developer to put a small text file on their web server to keep their websites from being archived. But I encourage you to give it a try. Maybe try it with your school website or if you have a personal website and see if that website is being monitored by archive.org and see what you can learn.